What is going on everybody, TechThusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you how to hack the Nintendo 3DS series as well as the 2DS series. So you may be aware that the 3DS has been discontinued but what better way to pick it up right now especially as it is gaining popularity as it still has some awesome games as well as emulators and homebrew apps. Now with that being said, let's get started. So before we begin, you need to make sure you have a micro SD card reader. If you're using a laptop, you might have a SD card reader so you can use this adapter. Now if you don't have no card reader at all, then you're going to need a USB card reader like this one for example. This can be used for SD cards and micro SD cards. Now if you have a 3DS or a 3D XL, then you will need to use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the back plate to access the micro SD card. Now if you bought your console second hand then we want to make sure that it is not already homebrew enabled. So hold start and power it on and hold it for a few seconds. If you see a strange menu here then stop as your console may already be hacked. Okay so once we're booted up we're going to go on to settings and update to the latest firmware if you haven't already. So I have already got it updated to the latest version at the time of the video which is 11.16.0-49e. To update it click on other settings, click on the fourth page if you're on the 2DS XL, it might be different for the 3DS series. Tap on system update, then tap on OK. But as I have already got it updated, I'm just going to cancel and I'm going to back out. Okay, so now we need to turn it off. So hold down the power button and make sure it is turned off. Now we can just close it up and open this flap here. So next to the game cart on the left hand side, this is where the micro SD card is. Just push it in and it will come out. For the 3DS series, you will need to unscrew the back plate. So once you have your micro SD card onto the PC, you will see another drive here and you may need to format it if you're using a brand new card. So right click and go to format. It needs to be FAT32. If you don't see it on this drop down, then you will need another tool called GUI format tool. So just open it up. Make sure it matches the same drive letter as shown on your PC. You can give it a label if you want. It's not important and just click on start. But as my micro SD card is formatted correctly, I'm just going to close it. Now if you had to format your micro SD card, put it back into your console, turn it on and it will create a file structure. Then turn it off and put it back into your laptop or your PC. Then double click on the drive. You will see a Nintendo 3DS folder on the root. Double click that and another folder. This has a long file name. So we need to copy that. So you can click on it once. Make sure everything is highlighted right click and copy. If you want you can also paste it on a document. Now go back to the root folder again and we need to download some files. So I've actually prepared a zip file so you can put everything on here. I will leave links in the description. I'm just going to refresh the page so the download starts. If the download doesn't work I will leave a link to the official 3dx hacks guide where you can download the files. So once that has downloaded open it and you will see another folder, double click and then you will see a bunch of folders and files. Select all of them and we need to drag that to the root of the micro SD card. Once that is all here we can remove the micro SD card and put it back into the console. Now back onto your 2DS Excel we need to go onto the friends list now if you haven't already, make sure you make a me so we can proceed to this step. Now go to your me and you will see a friend code here. Make a note of that as it is required for the next step. Now on the brute force movable page, we're going to need to put in the friend code. And then next that long string that we copied, paste it into this box and then click on go. So now it's going to be generating a friend code, it shouldn't take too long. Okay that is done and we have a new friend code as you can see here. Again make a note of this friend code. 
tap on the smiley icon, then on internet, then put in the new friend code from the brute force movable web page, then click on OK. And if it's not an existing me, give it a new name, it could be anything, click on OK, and then OK again. And that's it, that's been registered. Back to the brute force movable page, we will see another progress bar. It is generating a file, it takes a couple of minutes, but I have shortened the video here. Now click on download movable.sed file. And then next we're going to go to the injector web page. Click on browse. Now go to the location where you downloaded it. And then select the file. Click on build and download. It will be a few seconds and it should automatically download the DSiWare exploit. Open that file and you will see two files in here bb3.bin and f00d43d5.bin. Drag the bb3.bin file to the root folder. Now go into the Nintendo 3DS folder. Double click on the long file name. There's another folder with the long file name. Double click and if there isn't a folder called Nintendo DSiWare, then create a new folder here. So right click, new, then folder, and call it Nintendo DSiWare. It needs to be case sensitive, write it exactly as I have shown here. Go into that folder, and then drag the second file here, and pop your micro SD card back into your console. Open settings. Then go to data management, then tap on DSiWare, micro SD card, and then it should launch the Bannerbomb 3 multi hacks menu. Click on A to install unsafe mode, and then the console will turn off. Now press and hold the following combinations together L trigger, R trigger, up on the D pad, and A, power on, and that should get into the safe mode. Now tap on OK, I accept, OK, now it's going to try to connect to the internet and it should fail here, that's completely fine, tap on OK, tap on set, connection 1, change settings, then tap on the right icon, proxy settings, detailed setup, you should see some flashing colors and it will launch safe mode installer. It will run a quick check on the bottom screen as you can see. Once that has finished, you need to press the button combinations shown on the top screen. So in my case that is back, down, right and up. Press A and it should do a firm backup. It will then install a SIG hexed firm. Then everything should be green. Press A. And it should launch Luma 3DS configuration menu. Press start and it should reboot. Once it has rebooted, open settings. Tap on data management, DSiWare, micro SD, and then we're going to select the second option uninstall unsafe mode. Press A and it should reboot. Once it does that, turn off the console and take out the micro SD card and pop it into your PC. Remember that second bin file called f00d43d5.bin? Well, we need to delete it from the Nintendo DSiWare folder as it is no longer needed. Back on the Nintendo 2DS XL, launch Download Play. And then press the L trigger down on the D-pad and the select button together at the same time and it should launch the Rosalina menu. And then scroll down to where it says miscellaneous options and press A. On the first setting where it says switch to HP title to current app, press A. Once that is done, press B, then press B to exit again and then close download play. 
Once that closes down, we're going to open Download Play one more time and this time it should open up Homebrew Launcher. Press the same button combination again to enter Rosalina menu. So that's the L trigger down on the D-pad and select at the same time. So we're going to go back down to miscellaneous options, press A, then go to dump DSP firmware, press A and then press B. Press up and go to nonify user time offset, press A and then press B and then press B again to exit and then launch FBI. Tap 8 on SD, then go down to CIAS folder, select the current directory and install and delete all CIAS files. Press A and it will install all of the homebrews one by one and you can see them on the top screen. Once that is done, press A or OK and then we're going to press the home button and exit the homebrew launcher and then you will see four present icons. If you unwrap them, these are Animon, 3DS Theme Manager, Homebrew Manager, FBI and Checkpoint, which you can use to back up your save files and possibly use cheats. With your console turned off, hold the start button and press the power button and that should launch God Mode 9. Now I want to apologize here because I didn't know how to turn up the brightness. It is actually done by the volume slider and it gives a message here that it says essential files backup not found. Create one now, press A and then press A again. Okay, now press home to get the action menu and then go down to scripts and select GM9 Megascript and then scroll down to scripts from Paylex guide and then press A. Then select setup Luma 3DS to CTR NAND, press A and then press A again. Then we've got another on-screen combination. You need to do this to enable Sys NAND level 1 writing permissions. Press A to continue. Go down to clean up SD card. Press A. Press A again. A to continue. Then press B. And this part is entirely optional. We're going to back up the NAND. So press A. Sys NAND backup. Press A again. And this part could take up to 5 or 7 minutes. So I'm just going to speed up the video here. Okay, so once that's done, press A to continue, then press B, and then press B again. Then on this prompt, press A to lock the writing permissions again. Okay, so now on the top screen, scroll down to SysNAND Virtual, then press A, and then scroll down to Essential.exefs, press A, and then go down to Copy to GM9 Out, which is the last option. As the file destination already exists, select the second option to overwrite, press A. Once that is done, press B and then press home to bring up the action menu and press A to power off the console. Now back on the PC, on the root of the macro SD card, go to the GM9 folder, then the out folder and then we've got three files here. We need to copy these over, so I'm just going to create a folder on the desktop and call it NAND Backup. You can give it any name that you want. And then select the three files and drag them across. So this took about a minute to copy over. So once that is done, we can delete the top two files as it is no longer needed and we can free up some space on the micro SD card. And just remember to keep the NAND Backup folder somewhere safe. If somehow you manage to break your console, you can recover it with this NAND Backup. So that is it, your console is fully hacked and ready to go. So I'm just going to quickly show you the homebrew launcher. This is what you will be using to launch homebrew apps. And I want to show you a quick function of FBI. So as the Anomini theme app is not working, I'm going to uninstall it. I'm going to scroll down to titles. And then you can see the list of homebrew apps and games here. So on the top screen, I've got Anomini selected press A then go down to delete title and ticket press A and that will uninstall this app and this is essentially what you'll be using to uninstall games as well so press B and press start to go back to the homebrew launcher and then you will close it normally by pressing home 
and as you can see the theme manager is no longer here so there you have it this is how you hack any nintendo 3ds or 2ds series at the time of making this video now if you have found it useful give it a thumbs up if it is your first time here then please do consider subscribing as i have more videos coming up so make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as i release my videos please do follow me on twitter and instagram and like always thanks for watching and i will catch up with you in the next video